Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to view and then macros and record macro. And I'm going to name this macro chart big and store the macro in this workbook and okay. And now the macro is recording. I am going to make the chart bigger. Then I can go back to macros and stop recording and the macro will have recorded me making the chart bigger. In order to see the macro, I'm going to go to macros and view macros, then select the name of the macro that I just made called chart big and edit. And this is the macro that I just made. Now I don't need any of these comments here, so I'm going to delete them. And I also don't need these first two lines here because that's just me selecting the chart. Then the rest of the macro is the part that actually resizes the chart. So here we are looking in the active sheet for a shape called chart one. And then we are scaling the width of that chart by about 1.5 times. I'm going to delete all of the extra decimal places and make it exactly 1.5 times. So this increases the width of the chart by 1.5 times. And then here, the first part is the same, but now we are scaling the height of the chart by about 1.4 times. And I'm gonna delete this to make it exactly 1.4 times. So this makes the chart 1.4 times taller. And then at these parts here, which are scale from top left here and here, these control which sides of the chart move in order to make the chart bigger and which sides of the chart stay in the same place. But I don't actually care about this. And if I delete it, it will just use the default values. So I'm going to remove this. However, I can't remove the MSO false here or here. The MSO part just stands for Microsoft Office. And then this term here is for the relative to original size argument. So if this was true, it would resize the object based on its original size rather than the size that it currently is. However, this only works for pictures. With charts, Excel doesn't know what the size of the chart originally was. So this always has to be false. So this will resize the chart based on its current size. Now I have made those changes. I'm going to save this. And in order to save the macro, it has to be saved in a macro enabled workbook. So I'm going to select no. And then change the save as type to a macro enabled workbook and save. And now I can go back to Excel and go to macros and view macros. And I can select the name of the macro that I just created called chart big. And when I run this, it will make the chart bigger. And if I go back to macros and view macros and run it again, it will make the chart even bigger. Now I can do the opposite of this and make the chart smaller. So I will go back to the Visual Basic Editor and copy all of this and paste it down here. And then I'll make a couple of changes to this. So instead of this macro being called chart big, I'm going to call it chart small. And then here, instead of scaling the width by 1.5 times, I'm going to scale it by 10 divided by 15. And if I Go back to Excel, you can see that 10 divided by 15 is actually 0.6 reoccurring. But because of all of these extra decimal places, I prefer to use the fraction. And this will get the chart back to the size it originally was. And here I need to change this to 10 divided by 14. And if this up here was being times by 1.3 times, then this down here would need to be 10 divided by 13 in order to get it back to its original size. And when you increase the size of the chart by a number between zero and one, that will actually make the chart smaller. 
So say, for example, I increase the size of the chart by 0.5, that would actually make the chart half the size it was before. Now I have done this, I can save the changes and then go back to Excel. And now if I go to macros and view macros and then run the macro that I just created called chart small, it will make the chart smaller. And if I do this again, it will make the chart even smaller. Now I am going to create a couple of buttons to do this for me. So if I go to insert and illustrations and shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape and hold down shift to draw a circle. Then I will double click in here and add a plus symbol. Then I'll do some quick formatting to this. Then I will hold down control and shift and click and drag to make a second copy of this. And in here, I'll change it from a plus symbol to a minus symbol. Now I will right click on the plus symbol and assign macro. And I will assign it the chart big macro and OK. Then I'll right click on the minus symbol and assign macro and assign it the chart small macro and OK. And now if I click on the plus symbol, it will run the chart big macro and make the chart bigger. And if I click on the minus symbol, it will run the chart small macro and make the chart smaller. So in this way, I can resize the chart. And if I keep clicking the plus symbol, it will just make the chart bigger and bigger. And if I keep clicking the minus symbol, it will just make the chart smaller and smaller. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to resize a chart using VBA in Excel, and that is everything.